ABC 7 News. Up on ABC 7 News at 5. Do church cars gain more weight than people who don't go to church? Hmm. Plus an amazing story of survival. A dog thought to be dead survives a month in a burned out home. It's a program that really is an alternative that folks don't really know about. Small children helping care for the elderly. We'll see how every generation benefits from this. Good evening. And coming up here on ABC 7 News at 5, children caring for Alzheimer's patients in their own very special way. See how every generation benefits from this local program. And they a new method in caring for the elderly, particularly those with Alzheimer's and dementia, is focused on children. Now, the idea is to mix the elderly with young children during activities that benefit both groups, like singing and exercise. We visited one local center dedicated to this intergenerational approach to see just how it works. These four-year-olds know time with their older friends is always fun. Sometimes I make projects with them or make food with them. Yeah, we make ginger beds. They attend preschool at the Easter Seals Intergenerational Center in Silver Spring. The facility licensed as a nursing home also has an adult daycare program with many elderly diagnosed with Alzheimer's and dementia. Every day, the two groups get together for activities like yoga, arts and crafts, and music. It really is a creation of uh, what we call a new paradigm of care. Folks of all ages have the opportunity to interact and benefit from uh, being with one another. Research shows the elderly in this mixture of care become more interested in others, get more exercise, fall less and feel happier and more loved, while the children have higher social development scores, fewer behavioral problems, and enhanced perceptions of older adults. Rachel really, really seems to like spending time with the, um, the older, her older friends, she calls them. Well, he talks um, about them almost as much as he talks about the, the other kids in his class. Caregivers say their loved ones with Alzheimer's seem more engaged and less isolated after spending time with the youngsters. Well, I know how much she loves having kids around and what that means to her, so it makes me feel uh, so grateful. And Perry Cutler says the middle generation benefits as well. It's nice to see all the kids smile. Perry, who has learning disabilities, is less anxious and a lot happier since starting at the center. Her mother credits the staff as well as the children with these changes. She loves coming up to the four and five year olds and playing with them. I'm happy. I like this place a whole lot. A oh, great program. The center is partially funded by Montgomery County and has been at the forefront of training others to expand intergenerational caregiving. Gordon?